Max, one of the next, uh, probably one of the most important minerals that we have to, to look at is calcium. And calcium, it seems, is uh, no matter where you look today, you're hearing somebody talking about calcium and the need for calcium and bones and, and so on and so forth. And I think there's a lot of hype in many cases, a lot of, uh, a lot of information and a lot of misinformation mm -hmm. about calcium. Can you tell us a little bit about calcium? Well, you know, calcium, of course, is, is needed in pretty high quantity for uh, your typical minerals. You, and you have a wide variance in what the recommendations could be relative to age and uh, stage of life even. Uh, so, you know, uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding in terms of how much you need to take every day and how do I get that? Well, you know, typically in the diet it's dairy foods that are, you know, the thing that can provide the most calcium. And a lot of people, you know, especially the adults, don't want to take too much in the way of dairy because it you know, oftentimes can cause you uh, to have other problems, you know, weight gain and too many lipids and things such as this. So they'll, you know, not take uh, their dairy and then they run into the problem with not getting enough calcium in their diet. So from that standpoint, when you need, let's say, 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams a day of calcium, uh, people oftentimes will look to supplementation. Uh, the important thing is looking for a supplement that is going to be well absorbed because not all forms of calcium are absorbed as well as one another. And there's been a tremendous amount of clinical research on the relative absorption rate of different calcium forms. And uh, there's been, uh, you know, certain hype, if you will, about certain forms of calcium, only to find that, you know, the hype was incorrect. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, there's been so much uh, said about calcium citrate being such a, a great form of calcium. Uh, because of its absorption being so much better than calcium carbonate. Well, as it turns out, uh, the calcium citrate is absorbed at about the same rate as calcium carbonate. The big advantage for the citrate is if you truly do have uh, hypochlorhydria, in other words, you can produce gastric acid to help with the absorption of the inorganic calcium, then the calcium citrate will work better. Uh, so it's a good form. And then there's other forms like uh, obviously calcium carbonate, calcium lactate, all these salt forms are absorbed at about the same rate in the mid-20s or so. Uh, Albion produces a calcium glycine chelate, and this absorption rate is about twice that of the inorganic calcium forms, and so it, it does offer superior absorption and a number of other uh, positive uh, impacts. Uh, one thing, you know, with calcium carbonate, the salt form uh, will ionize, come apart in the stomach, and will induce things uh, such as acid rebound in, in which you take the calcium carbonate and calcium carbonate as you know is the active ingredient in some of the over-the-counter antacids and what it will do to your stomach is decrease the pH I mean increase the pH excuse me of your stomach and it does it at a very fast rate in your body when the pH of your stomach goes from resting two or three and jumps way up mm -hmm. rapidly your body says, oh no, and it secretes a lot of acid to bring that pH down. And then the person taking that can get gas and, you know, mm -hmm. little bits of types of gastric distress. Mm -hmm. With the chelate form, since you don't have that ionization and reaction in the stomach, you avoid that type of problem. Uh, so it has the advantage of tolerability. Well, uh, the one thing, the things such as calcium carbonate offers an advantage to a tablet maker in that it's got a higher percentage of elemental calcium. So you can put more calcium in a single tablet than you can with the chelated form. However, with the chelated form, you don't need to put as much calcium in there to begin with because you're gonna have much, much higher absorption. So, uh, you know, things like calcium citrate, calcium lactate, uh, they, um, well, actually lactate is, is a bad example, come <laughs> to think of it, because that also has a low elemental calcium level. But, uh, you know, the amount of calcium present in the compound uh, will also probably, the higher the percentage calcium, the more problem you're going to have with gastric reaction.